Today's top stories in your morning rush. The man charged with shooting and killing a Charlotte bus driver is expected in court today. Darian Tavichith allegedly shot and killed Ethan Rivera back in February after an argument. He's charged with murder and shooting into occupied property. We'll have a crew in court today and we'll have the latest developments for you on air and on WCNC.com later today. More than three months after a Monroe father and his four month old son were killed during a cookout, police have made an arrest. 21 year old Taji Bennett has been charged with two counts of first degree murder along with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. He's accused of firing into a home on Murrow Avenue back in May. 25 year old Darian McClendon, along with his four month old Damari, were shot. Police haven't said if there was a motive behind that shooting. A gun was found in a student's car at Rock Hill High School, making this the third time this week a gun has been found on a school campus in Rock Hill. The district says now they're making some changes and will be doing random searches as they reevaluate their policy on safety. They say they will also seek input from parents before making any major changes. The FDA approved updated COVID boosters from Moderna and Pfizer designed to target the Omicron subvariant. It's the first approved update since the original shots back in December of 2020. The federal government already purchased 171 million doses of the new vaccine so far. The CDC still has to sign off of the boosters. Less than half of North Carolina counties are considered high risk when it comes to COVID-19. That's down 19 counties from last week when 62 were in the top category. Mecklenburg County is still one of the places in that high risk category. The good news, the state health department says reported cases are on the decline. Hospitalizations are also down compared to last week. And that's it for your morning rush.